headed away. And there's Egwibor with the clearance for Cove Ramblers. One of a couple of brothers in this Ramblers team. You've got the two Larkin brothers, the two Egwibors as well. That's a good cross from Shane Elworthy over the head of Egwibor. And the referee too quick on the whistle. The ball had landed at the feet of Connor wow. Crowley inside the penalty area, but the referee had. Peary, certainly not a player you want to allow to get on the turn because he can play passes like that. What a pass from Bastian Heary. Frank Campbell's beating the goalkeeper to it. He goes down, but the referee adjudges there was no contact there from Dara Burke, but that was a counter-attack on for Longford, but Talon just turns back towards his own goal when Frank Campbell had made a good run forward just ahead of him. Maybe he didn't spot the run of Campbell. That's a good touch from Adeyemo. Brings Wade Slater into proceedings. Slater's double marked again over on that right-hand side, but he's managed to pick out a good pass to Crowley. Takes it on the chest, plays it across the six-yard box. Good pair of hands from Dara Burke. <laughs> Referee. It's given Cove a big chance here, as you said, get the big men up and get it in the box. Yeah, well, we've got a dugout cam tonight. We don't have a goal line cam just yet. If anyone wants to make an investment for one of those, then we'll gladly accept it. As a corner to the Cove Ramblers, it's going to be Jack Larkin to take this one, the skipper. Larkin with a good ball inside just over the head of Brendan Frall. That was very, very close to being connected with. Able to link up the three of them and going forward. There seems to be a bit of confusion in the press as well. Yeah. Longford have been excellent out of possession in recent weeks. It's been a real blueprint for the improvement in results and performances under Wayne Groves. They've been so good out of possession, but tonight there's a little bit of hesitancy and there's some more hesitancy at the back and there's a shot on goal from Lee and Kervik, but he was just off balance as he struck that one. There's been players that haven't showed enough passion or bite or haven't expressed their anger with some power performances. So. Yeah, there's no doubt Longford were a very quiet team earlier in the season. They're looking to make a bit of noise now as Frank Campbell breaks into the Cove penalty area. Campbell with the back heel to set up. O'Connor, good pair of hands once again from Dara Burke. That's the second cross from a wide area now that he has gathered right on the edge of the six-yard box. When He's not a player to complain to referees, so Melworthy feels he's come out on the wrong side of that decision, but... All in all, free kick to Cove Ramblers. A chance again to send some of those big defenders forward. Egwibor's broken away, totally unmarked. Brady with the save, it didn't get a touch. The free kick came all the way through. There might be another chance for Cove. Elworthy, who gave away the free kick, eventually. This is Evers. Ball down the line to Bosniak. Bosniak beaten to it by Oshin Hand, who was tracking back. Talent. It's a better ball over the top from Talon. Adeyemo lets it skip by him, and he got a touch on it, but Burke, more by chance than design, was just stood there. It clearly came off Burke. It should be a corner to Longford Town. <laughs> Crowley, who won the corner, going across the take. It's obviously some sort of a set-piece routine here off the training ground. Yeah, here I, haven't, I haven't seen this one before. Crowley, right onto the penalty spot. It's going to fall to Adeyemo. Why not Adeyemo? Ever so close to opening the score, and that would very much have been the... So corner to be taken by Connor Crowley. Crowley, flatter delivery this time. It's headed away at the front post. He'll be disappointed with that, Crowley. Kervik misses his clearance, and Ross Fay keeps the Longford attack alive. This is Connor Crowley once again. Better cross this time. Oh, and that could have gone absolutely anywhere, but it just goes behind for a goal kick in the end. Him out of contact, but any tackle from behind now often results in a yellow card but he's kept his cards in his pocket tonight just the one booking so far for Shane Elworthy in the first half for an off the ball incident and there's Elworthy trying to get tight to James O'Leary but O'Leary has got by Elworthy he's racing into the box O'Leary oh Bastian Heary with a crucial interception it's that man Bastian Heary right place right right time and we've said that a few times this season and he's just bailed Longford out there and as you said Connor Crowley maybe a bit of frustration there just Given a cheap, cheap set piece now for Cove. O'Leary to take the free kick. It's a decent looking ball, it's flicked on and Brady had to stoop down low and gather that ball at his near post. No real power in the header. As Budiaf races forward, but Brendan Frahal, has been foot perfect at the back tonight. I know they, they have not put under immense pressure, Cove Ramblers, but any defending he's been asked to do, he's done it without any fuss, Frahal. And here is Chambers. Chambers with the shot, never really got hold of it. Good to see him have a penalty area. Everyone back for Longford. Town defending as deep as seven yards out here. Cove definitely have the height advantage. Longford are going to have to get the fractions right here. 
as O'Leary plays the ball into the penalty area. On oh, two core players went for the one ball. Jack Brady under pressure does really well to punch it away. He's well able to. We've seen him put good deliveries in, and this is one where you're just going to have to gamble with 10 minutes left to go. Watford haven't committed as many bodies into the area as Cove did down the other end a moment or two ago, but let's see what they can do with this free kick. That's a great ball from Faye. A chance for Wade Slater flashes wide. The chance of the night has passed Longford Town by. Yeah, huge, huge chance. Wade Slater has had the best chance of the game so far in possession now for Longford Town. Oh, and Elworthy took his eye off it and he's presented it here to O'Leary. Elworthy commits, he's beaten by O'Leary, not for the first time. O'Leary with the early shot and Brady spilled it and somehow McKevitt has put it over the bar, but he was offside. How has that not been 1-0? I know the offside... It's cross, but that's a good piece of goalkeeping from Jack Brady, who does quickly move the ball on this time. Much better from Brady. Here he, Wade Slater. He's got plenty of grass and space to run into here. Wade Slater, that's a brilliant pass to Mo Budiaf. Budiaf with the touch inside, cuts back onto his left. Budiaf, it's hit the post. How on earth has that not gone in? Wow. The